The following is an ESG on location video. So this edition of ESG On Location comes from NextGen Storage. Some of you may remember the company when it was independent, um, and it's independent again now. I got some time to talk with uh, Chris McCall, who is the SVP of marketing here, and the first thing I asked him to do was just give us a little reminder of the history of the company and what it does. NextGen Storage was founded in 2010 really to take advantage of re-architecting storage systems around Flash. So we took a different approach than most. Uh, we designed around the PCIe bus, meaning we put Flash on the memory bus, which allows us some advantages in terms of performance and capacity density. But what we're really about is trying to address the key challenge in virtual infrastructure, which is controlling or providing some sense of management on performance. We went to market with our first product in 2012. We were quickly acquired by Fusion I.O. in 2013, which was then acquired by SanDisk in 2014, who spun us out and were on our own again as of January of this year. So all companies, particularly ones that are relatively small and relatively new to the marketplace, have to have some hook, something to get people interested. Now, initially with NextGen, that was very much about quality of service. But with NextGen's mix of hardware and software, it's also able to talk about QoS from another perspective, the quantity of service. I asked Chris to explain that in a bit more detail. When we first set out designing quality of service, it was really about delivering a superior end user experience with performance consistency with the most mission critical apps. But we had always suspected that if you manage the workload correctly in Flash, you would be able to get more efficient and manage that resource more efficiently. Um, so we finally gotten around to do some real testing, some real life testing of turning quality of service off and turning it on. And what we found, lo and behold, was that we could manage 25 to 30% more workload just with turning the software on. So with the software being more intelligent about what's in Flash and what isn't, you can handle a larger workload. And it's a little bit counterintuitive because there's extra processing going on to make all the right decisions about every I.O. in flight. But the fact that you're keeping the right data in Flash at the right time allows you to do more with the same amount of capacity. And you can see the advantages going from a typical array with SSDs to on the PCIe bus, a tremendous jump in the number of VMs that you can manage. But what's more interesting is when you turn on the software and the intelligence that quality of service has, which is keeping the data that needs to be in Flash in Flash at the right time, with zero hardware changes, you increase the efficiency or the number of VMs that you can run on that same hardware by 25 to 30%. And that's just purely with the software capabilities. So what we're doing here at NextGen is very similar to what happens with all disruptive technologies, where the first wave of innovation is really about making the technology work in a specific environment. And then the second wave of innovation is all about software getting or increasing the efficiency and helping customers utilize it more effectively. That's exactly what happened with the hypervisor, and it's exactly what quality of service is doing for Flash. So interesting stuff in terms of what the company can offer. And it's really important not just to have something that's different, but something that offers value. To succeed in this industry, after all, it's great to talk about performance, flash, and effectiveness in terms of getting the job done. All wonderful. But you can never forget about capacity, quantity, price, and effectiveness in doing that.